guys. We'll start with a question from me, then we'll take it to the room. I'll just get both your thoughts on the match and how much fun you guys have playing with each other. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, it's, uh, it was a good match for us. Um, I think, I don't know if we've won a match on tour to get together. Um, but, yeah, we, we talked about this a while ago. We just wanted to play. Hopefully it was in front of some fans, but it wasn't tonight or today, but that's all right. Um, yeah, any time we can, we can pair up, we just... Uh, it's more about just having fun and enjoying each other's company. Um, it's not often we get to do it, so um, any time we get the chance, we uh, jump on it. Nick, anything to add? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we know how to play doubles together. We, we had some success in juniors, um, and it's just basically been about you know having a chance to play. Obviously, it's nice to get his body right and things linking up. We were very excited to play in front of fans, though, like on show court three on a Saturday half, everyone was getting pissed. Um, so that would have been awesome to go out there and just... <laughs> You know, just give him something to kind of go out with a bang. But, you know, just it's good that we got a win today. I think um, it was good just to get our bodies moving as well, especially after me last night. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, you know, anything's possible. You know, if we get a bit of momentum, we just see what happens. Okay, question to the room. Paul? Guys, there's a lot of communication between the two of you. Uh, what percentage was tactical and what percentage was social? Hmm. Uh, tactical, maybe 1%. Social. Well, I actually don't know. There was actually a bit of talk out there today, a tactical, tactical one. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but it was definitely more just rubbish. Um, well, I'm a taken man, so he, uh, he, he was talking to me about girls most of the time. He's just throwing me under a bus <laughs> right here, but that's not true. Uh, we were just uh, having fun. <laughs> wow. What was the contrast in last night's crowd to the atmosphere out there today? Could you I can sort of believe it? it? Yeah, it was, it was tough. Obviously, you're hearing the news... Yesterday, when I heard the press conference, there was not going to be any crowds moving forward. I knew that it was going to affect our, affect our doubles match, but ultimately, it is what it is, and we've got to just, you know, f abide by the rules, and hopefully we can just finally get over this, you know, pandemic in Australia. You know, the world's a bit far behind, but, you know, hopefully by next year, we can actually, you know, not worry about anything. Everyone can just have freedom to go outside, watch matches, like, watch some of the best Aussies play, like, but for now, we can't, we can't do much. Was that first for you, then? to not have any crowded... Oh, well, it was 50 people, say. From I mean, I've played in Futures. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've played in front of no crowd. Um, but, yeah, that was... I mean, easier to concentrate in doubles. You know, he's usually the, the one of the two, like, out of us to keep me on, you know, on the straight and narrow out there, tried to keep me focused. And But, you know, I feel like I've matured a little bit since the last time we played um, men's doubles, but I'm just glad we got through. It's good, it's good to get our first win together on tour as well. Mark? It's boys final. Do, do you ever get a chance to, to think back to how, far, how different and how far you've come since that time? Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I've, or I always felt like, I mean, you, you saw what he could produce the other day uh, against Steph. You know, his, his level is always going to be there. It's always going to belong. He's always going to be able to rise to the occasion. You know, to go out there after everything he's been through and on Rod Laver Arena with the expectation of to bring it to, you know, one of the best players in the world is not easy. And he was right there, created chances, he was right in there, could have won the match as well. So, um, you know, I mean, we've roomed together in London, we've roomed together all over the world, and I've seen everything, all the work he's put in. Just so to see the success he's had and, and the enjoyment, it's, it's awesome. But at the same time, I'm, I'm obviously a bit sad from time to time because I know that if he was healthy the whole time, we would have been everywhere doing everything around the world. Probably, you know, he would have been... I'm not sure what your ranking was when you got injured, but, like, he was only on the up. And he would have probably overtaken me at some stage because my work ethic's pretty, pretty bad. But um, it's just good to see him back. Hopefully he can just string a couple more of those matches together and get some confidence. And after that, your thoughts think what you made of Nick's journey since that uh, 2013? <laughs> um, yeah, no, obviously, obviously growing up, I knew Nick was going to be a hell of a player. Um, obviously came through and did, did really well in the juniors. And, uh, yeah, he, he took off. And we kind of were taken off a little bit at the same time. Uh, together and obviously I had a couple injuries and, and Nick kept soaring and um, watching him from afar was uh, was pretty special watching him have all those those great matches and and entertain the crowd like he does you know people people kind of saw on the stage like his demeanor on court and the energy he brings and the fans he interacts but I, I've seen that when he was playing under 12s nationals in Gosford and Mildura so he was like that as a kid it's just now <laughs> to there's... the fence to the fence yeah. <laughs> well, even in front of five people he was doing that stuff so it's not it's not a show it's just how he is um so yeah, it's just good to be back at this at this level, playing, um, ideally in front of crowd. But uh, it's just good to uh, kind of prove again to people uh, what I can do, and, and hopefully I can keep keep progressing, keep being on the up. Paul, with that in mind, for now, see, um, what's your pathway now to try to get that ranking up, obviously, to where you really want it to be? Ideally, just play a lot of matches and stay healthy. Um, staying healthy will let me play matches, and then 
I think my tennis will, will, will do the job. I just got to keep uh, keep giving myself an opportunity to play and compete, and uh, hopefully hopefully the path is going to be pretty quick. But any schedule at the moment that you're looking at? Well, uh, not too sure yet. I've got to be careful because I obviously don't want to keep coming back to Australia and doing the two weeks quarantine. So uh, I've got to be smart with it. But I'll sit down with my coaches and agents uh, after this tournament and uh, decide what's next. But yeah, I, I've, I've got to be ready for a long year of travelling. It's going to be it's going to be a bit weird. Hopefully, hopefully we do get some crowds back in the stadiums. It's going to make it better for everyone, um, and it's going to add to the atmosphere and energy of the players. And I think it's going to make for better tennis as well. So uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'll probably probably decide in the next few days. Craig. Has anything changed since the Sits Best match to now? Um, any developments for you as far as... His direct messages. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, huh? Every time. And if you want to explain <laughs> about the direct messages... Benny well. Rosenberg like that one. You yeah, can see yeah, him in the right, corner. Sorry, sorry, sorry go ahead. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just anything developed for you? Uh, maybe, obviously... A little bit more publicity and, and a few more heads uh, turning and a few more eyes, um, but for me, for me, the goal's still the same. Uh, it's, it's just literally staying healthy and being able to produce that tennis for as long as possible. Um, hopefully, it gives a few more tournament directions and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully, it gives me a few more opportunities where I don't have to kind of grind through qualities of challenges or whatever it be. Um, so hopefully, they can kind of see what I bring to the sport and hopefully want me in their tournaments. But uh, for me, I know the path's going to be a long one and I've got a lot of work to do, but um, I'm, I'm ready to put it in. I've had a lot of time on the sidelines, so I'm keen to get going and, and get back to where I think I should be. Is any, do you still have to go shopping at Kmart or anything? Uh, I've had enough shirts. They haven't shrunk too far yet, so um, they might turn into a crop top after a couple more washes, but <laughs> for now they're all right. Go any more the in the room, room guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go online. Ben, with your question, please. Ben needs a haircut, man. <laughs> ben, put it in a bun. I've tried that. It does not look does not look great. Uh, Nick, my question is for you. I guess just like what um, what do you think it would have been like for you playing singles matches at a Grand Slam at this Grand Slam, maybe especially with no crowd? I mean, you didn't you didn't play the U.S. Open, so you didn't really have that experience before. But you're just somebody who draws so so much off the crowd, and it seemed to be a huge part of your your obviously time out there. So what would have would you've been able to function as the same sort of player with a completely empty stadium, or just um, part of you've been missing out there? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, well, I played Courage a week and a half ago, and that was very tough to rally. You know, I was down a break, and it was just tough to find. For me personally, it was tough to just have chat with myself and look around and see no one watching and just trying to produce, you know, big tennis against a pretty good player. It wasn't easy. And he, he definitely felt more comfortable, I feel, with no crowd. You know, he was just going about his business, kind of just, you know, putting his head down and putting me away, but... It was tough. Like, it would have been tough for me, I think, playing with no crowd, especially next match, even though it was a fourth round quarterfinals, I think. For me personally, I think sports entertainment at the end of the day, and I want to be able to play in front of, you know, full crowds around the world. That's what I'm used to, and that's, you know, I, I, I was talking to Thanasi when I was out in the doubles court. I was like, I don't know if I'm able to do a full schedule with doing this stuff, you know. Like, obviously, the quarantine in itself, but just, like, play, going out on court and playing with no crowd, I don't know if that's the way I want to do it me personally and that's fine I, I, it's not, that's not a shot at anyone who does want to go play and, and go get points and, and make money that's fine but for me I'm not sure if that's the option I'm going to go down Thanks for your time guys Thank you.